Hey guys, today we'll be making a Fizzbone slider, which basically works off a of Fizzbone's stretch component. So this is what the final product will look like. You'll be able to come over and then pull the sweater down and then pull it back up. Okay, so the quick overview, what you want to do is you want to make an empty game object with a VRC uh, Fizzbone script. You want to set itself as the root transmission. Ignore the endpoint for now. We'll come back to that. The forces, you want to do 0, 0, 1, 0, which is pretty much just relying on the immobile, which means that it will, it will stay in the same spot unless it collides with something or is grabbed. Then after that, you can either set an angle limit with a max angle of 0 or you can do none. If you do none, it'll freely like spin around and like be able to be pulled in any direction. But if you set it to an angle limit of uh, zero it will only go directly down up left right forward and backwards i don't know how to limit it to one direction just yet but if you figured out how let me know in the comments then for your radius set it to something like decently sized that's grabbable and also for the position of the capsule you want to make sure it's a little bit out so you can actually comfortably grab it and um you don't have to like fumble around for the slider and make sure it's also aligned along the z-axis as well and then after that you want to allow grabbing and posing and set grab movement to one and then grab movement one just means that it will immediately move to the grab position and then for your end position and your max stretch what you can do is you can set max stretch to one and then what you want to do is you want to work out the start position and the end position of this slider so i know the end position is going to be around uh 0 0.84 so this is uh this circle is like the start position and then the bottom circle is like the end position and then what you want to do is if you want the capsule to be a bit smaller of an area to grab so what you can do is you can actually grab a calculator and put in the the y variable of its full length and then divide it by what max stretch you want to use so we'll go with four and then this will give us the y variable that we need and then we can set this to four and then that will perfectly stretch out as the as the same speed and same length so then for your parameter you want to uh, fill in this slot with something i use slashes to make folders and stuff good tip and then you want to go over to your effects layer here your parameters create a new float parameter and then you want to add underscore capital s stretch to it then make a layer and then go into your layer and you want to create a state from new blend tree double click this blend tree click on the blend tree and add two motions and set the parameter to be uh, the new parameter we just made and after that you want to drag your animations in here and then that will create a smooth blending between the two also make sure to put your slider uh, inside of the armature itself if you try to use parent constraints constraints don't actually work with fizz bones so just drag it into your armature where the closest bone is going to be so this is kind of riding along my left leg so I put it in there I have one on my chest so I have it on the chest bone and then I have one on the other leg so I put it on the other leg and then there you go that's how to do sliding animations now to do this from scratch what you want to do is you want to go to the bone where this is going to be so in this case it's going to be the upper left leg we're going to create an empty object and we're going to name this slider underscore length slider uh, underscore tutorial then you want to add component type in fizz bone and then you want to go to the hierarchy and drag itself into the root transform set up a little bit of y length you can see a line already and then set up a bit of a radius and then after this is done, you want to set the start position of the slider. So what I like to do is I set this to the start position so you can see it comes up to about here. So we'll drag our slider to about where the hand's going to like the fist would be when you like go to like grab it and pull it down, so which would be about there. Make sure it's also lined up along here. And after you've done that start position, you want to set the end uh, position of its Y. So again, we go into here set our long position with the blend shapes and then we match it up here so this looks like it's going to be about 0.08 and then you can set max stretch to one already if you want and then what you want to do for the forces 0, 0, 1, 0. you can set a limit i choose not to uh, disallow collisions allow grabbing posing and grab movement set to one and then from there we can work on changing the size of this capsule so we open up our calculator again put in our variable and we're going to go for four as well this time. The 0 0.02, set to that, set max stretch to four. Okay, so now once you've done that, we can set up our parameter. So just give this a name. I like to call it a fizzbone slash slider slash length. And I'll put a tutorial at the end. Uh, the, these slashes are really good because in the effects layer, it actually makes little folders, which I'll show you later. And then we can now go into our effects layer, go to parameters, make a new float, go to our variable, make sure to add underscore stretch. Once you've done that, make a new layer. You can call this anything, it doesn't matter. Probably call it something rather than ASD over and over again so you're a bit more organized. And then you want to create state from new blend tree. 
and then you want to double click that blend tree and then click the blend tree after that and then you want to go up to the right go parameter and then change this to our folder so you see fizzbone folder and then we got slider uh, length tutorial underscore stretch then we want to add two motion fields which creates this kind of blending graph and now we'll make our animation so what i like to do is like to control d drag this up with the green arrow and press f and they'll frame it into view and once you've done that you can start making the animation so go create and then make sure to put it like uh somewhere that you'll actually see so animations and i'll delete these because i've done this before and we'll put them in here so we're going to go length tutorial zero so zero aka minimum and we're going to go to our uh, skin mesh for our outfit and we're going to set the long to zero and the short to 100 if you just have one slider just set this to zero and then our next uh, 100 or maximum animation is just going to be set to 100 but if you have two you can do it like this and then click on the tutorial to like automatically name it save record and we will make this as long as possible so now once we're done our animations we can delete the copy of our avatar click on the original and press f to frame it go back to the effects layer and find the blend tree and then you can either go through here and try and find it uh, but my project's a mess so I like to go to the project and then I go down to here and I just drag them straight in and then a cool tip you can do is you can actually grab your avatar and drag it into this area here if you don't see it, it's probably like this you can drag and pull it up and pull your avatar into it and then you can actually see the the blending animation play out when you drag the slider so you get a good preview of what you've actually done. So now that should actually all work. So we can go into play and we can actually check that this works okay. And also a quick tip as well is if you haven't set up your camera and you're already running, you can click on your camera and hit Control Shift F and then that will change the actual camera view. So you can see when we click this now, this works A-OK. -okay. And you can also see, yeah, we can pull it up in different directions, which sometimes you might get that weird thing where like, you're pulling it up and it starts going down so i recommend trying to keep your capsule or like set your start position a little higher than you normally would so you don't do that or you do it less often or make it uh the capsule slightly bigger and so it's a little easier to not do that but yeah that's how to set up fizzbone sliders i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh have a good one